It is said sometimes that the greatest truths come from the mouths of babes. And our next guest, graphic author Stefan Salinas, tells us a story that comes from the mouth of a rat. <laughs> yes, welcome, rat. Stefan. <laughs> Thank you. T uh, tell us this book with, with within the rat. Where did you get the idea uh, for it, and uh, what's the title mean? Well, um, the idea came from my experiences, from my life. Um, uh, basically, it's I'm uh, investigating uh, my childhood and. Um, going up to my present, but the dark side, the shadow side, uh, the, the parts that are not so easy to talk about. Yeah, I mean, th th it starts out with three kids in a tent in the backyard, kind of an all-American sort of sleepover sort of setup, and then it quickly becomes like the Blair Witch Project. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this we, is, your shadow side when you were a kid must have been pretty scary. Well, uh, yes. I mean, I had wonderful times in my life as well, but, um, um, but there, were some, there was some depression, alcoholism, um, anxiety. It was all... Uh, there and uh, and then I just took it with me and kept it you know with me and um, I started to then acting out these negative patterns and things so I th with this book I started decide to address this mm -hmm. um, go into that cave and try to make sense of it and hopefully rise above it come out of it accept it if I can you know so right. it's still a process still yeah so now you, you were born and raised in Texas Texas Houston Texas and when did you leave I uh, left uh, 11 years ago. So what was it about the Bay Area that beckoned to a boy from Texas, as if I have to ask? Uh, <laughs> um, the weather, the, uh, the, um, uh, the fact that all the different cultures are kind of mushed closer together. Mm -hmm. um, Not the, just the, the gay scenery. rats? Not just the gay rats. <laughs> Some of it, well, there was an inspiration. There was a, a guy that I liked at the time that was mm -hmm. just moving here. Mm -hmm. so, um, but uh, I, uh, I wanted to pull the rug from under me before someone else did. Mm -hmm. so, uh, now, we talked a little bit about um, you being what you would call an illustrator yes. versus a painter. Do you think there is still that pejorative term, oh, well, Stefan is an illustrator, not a painter. Do you think that still exists? Uh, I, I think it still exists. Um, when I was a, a painting major in college and uh, the, the um, professors, they thought, oh, well, paintings we have here and, oh, you can do your little children's books if you want, if you wish. You know, but I, wanted, I like the idea that uh, the product I make it can fit in many people's hands. It can get out there for fourteen ninety five. You know, you can get it instead of two thousand five million dollars for some painting. Um, it, because uh, art for me is communication, and I, I'm uh, pushing things into the world coming from who knows where. Mm -hmm. um, and so I like that idea that it's it's getting out. I, I still paint, and I still have shows, but um, uh, that's that's. And how how I'm different doing. are your paintings from the work we see in within the wrap? Uh, very different, very different. These are much more uh, cartoon. These were inspired by um, um, The Little Prince uh, and uh, Alice in Wonderland, more of these children's books, almost more than, than uh, comic books. Uh, but um, my paintings are a lot more representational, more realistic. Right. Well, I mean, you, you raised two interesting examples, uh, The Little Prince and Alice in Wonderland, which a lot of people consider children's books, but certainly when it was written, Alice in Wonderland was not a children's book. They're dealing with some real heavy stuff there. And within the rat has kids as the main characters, but these are real adult issues. I mean, sexual promiscuity, depression, codependency, they a man-eating monster that these kids go to slay. I mean, this is not the line, the witch, and the wardrobe. It's it's not. It's not. No. I, I, I think um, uh, there's a lot of dark and twisted uh, stories out there and, and art out there. Um, but some of them go further. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm going further. This is more like a Maybe more like a dark Fellini film or a so. Igmar this is Bergman, by your by your own description. This is a dark and twisted tale. It's a dark and twisted tale. So know, tell us the plot. Um, if there is a plot, it's uh, episodic. Uh, it's basically it's uh, you're going into the world of, of the subconscious and uh, in dreams. And in fact, I include some dreams in there. So it's um, like the subconscious, like the dreams. Uh, what dreams are is they're a reflection of our waking reality. So they take our experiences. Um, our memories and uh, emotions, and then at night, you, it's trying to make sense of it. That's what some art can do. That's what this book is doing. I basically am. So, so some of the characters are not um, are are based on people in my life. Are based on uh, aspects of myself, are, are archetypes, aspects of other people. Um, so, uh, you find out early on a rat is writing this book th that he's in. And, but then we go from story to story, and what first seems like uh, disconnected uh, um, uh, little scenes 
gradually themes start emerging, repeated patterns. You start seeing there's a mother figure, the rat comes back, uh, there's other, the rat turns into a, a young boy, uh, turns into an older woman that's mourning. Um, and I'm trying to go, you know, pre-verbal areas, these childhood uh, mm -hmm. uh, memories, and trying to um, get unstuck. My mother passed away, and that's a major portion of the book. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting really stuck. And uh, the end is kind of an aspiration. I mean, so I was this to get out of it. You said for you, art is communication. Yes. It sounds like for some of this, it was also therapy. It very cathartic, very cathartic. Um, early on, uh, a friend, uh, Bernie, had told me he uh, saw a few sketches I was working on, a few little ideas, and I was already worried about who's my target audience. You know, how do I how do I market this? And he he saw what was going on, looked at me, and he said this is too important. This process is, will be important for you. And don't think of the end result. You know, um, I mean, it's nice if it goes somewhere. But, and that was, that was really good advice for me. So. Mm -hmm. um, it's taken three years, and um, you know, gradually I'm getting it out there. So, uh, so when, you, really when, when you finished it, did you sigh, or did you cry, or did you cheer? <laughs> um, I, uh, I think I feel a little more settled. Uh, I, I feel a little down, almost like uh, uh -huh. after working so hard on something. It's done. Um, it's like this postpartum depression, if you will. Right, right. Now, do you consider yourself more uh, an illustrator slash artist or a storyteller? Uh, an illustrator slash artist, I think. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the story is yours, too. I mean, it's not just it, that you you didn't illustrate someone else's work. This is Stefan Salinas. Yes, yes. In, in every way. I, I, I guess I'm a storyteller. I'm trying to get comfortable with that uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh. the writer part. Um, but uh, I, I, I think visually. Mm -hmm. um, and why so. the rat? I mean, a rat is one of those. I mean, talk about an animal that has bad PR. I mean, unless, <laughs> you're, unless you're doing Disney and Ratatouille, it's like these are, these are not very sympathetic creatures. What made you pick the rat? Well, since I'm going into the shadow side, the dark side, and um, uh, well, my Chinese horoscope, not that I'm Chinese, but um, is, uh, is the year of the rat. And mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like I'm, if you look at my apartment, kind of a pack rat a bit. Uh -huh. and, and the book is, is full of, uh, it's jumbled of all these things. And at first it might seem um, uh, overwhelmingly crowded, but I call it within the rat because you're going within, within me. And these are all these worries, anxieties, and I, I, I adopt them from other people, you know, mm -hmm. so. You'll see uh, the, uh, one of the characters is uh, a young man, and he's uh, going to bars and, and seeking out older men, mostly um, uh, depressed ones and, and alcoholics, yikes. And, but then he starts adopting their problems. You start uh, learning about some of their lives mm -hmm. and their pain and the world's pain. And um, so that, that's why it's a little overcrowded in there. And, mm -hmm. uh, and a rat's kind of a old pack rat, you know, but they're also kind of, uh, kind of clever and smart and a survivor, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like people to take away from this? And, it, and it's obviously, it has all kinds of themes, but certainly there is a heavy gay theme here. Uh, what would you like people who read this to take away from it? Um, hopefully that, to, that they can become a little more comfortable um, and more forgiving uh, to themselves and other people that have these issues. And hopefully they feel that they're not alone. Um, uh, I've, I've carefully inserted little mirrors here and there. So if you don't see yourself, you're gonna see a part of yourself or part of uh, someone you know, uh, a loved one, um, I guarantee you. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, yeah. so I mean, even though it sounds like there's a lot of, as you said, dark and twisted elements to this story, it's ultimately, it sounds like, very hopeful. I, I, there is some hope in there. There is. Um, uh, some hope from advice that I've been given, uh, yes. some things that I've learned. Um, and uh, there's a little bit of humor here and there as well. And oh, uh, there's some light, yeah. We've been speaking with Stefan Salinas, author of Within the Rat. Next up, we'll be speaking with Herman Chan about his work to get rid of cyberbullying. We'll be right back.